Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hi, honey bun. Hi. Everybody's cage is pretty messy because today is cage cleaning day. So, yeah, we're gonna get you guys all clean. Hello. Hey, buddy. And I'm gonna go ahead and give Honey her morning meds. So I just gave the rabbits their Econiculi medication as well. We are almost done. We've only got like a week left of their meds and I'm very grateful because they dislike the meds a lot and it's really hard to do it every morning at 8 a.m. So I'm really glad that I'll be done with those soon. I didn't film it because like I said, it's really hard to get in their meds. So it's kind of a pain to do it and film it. Honey's really easy luckily, but they are not. Now it is time to give them their pellets. So I think I'm gonna do some pellets in this thing today. And then I've been using the Toki Hut forage mat a lot, which is what this is. So I'm gonna actually not use that right now. And do the grass mat. Here you go, buddy. And then I'll do some in this thing. Crow, crow. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> hey, buddy. Yes, you can eat it out of the cup. Thank you for forgiving me after the meds. She says she doesn't forgive me. She's just here for the food. And we do have one pee outside of the box, probably by Luna. Um, of course, the day that I film, she goes inside the box, but they have been doing a lot better. And I don't know if that's the medication that's helping them or what, but this is the first pee in like maybe five days to a week, I want to say. But of course, it's the day that I'm filming, but I'm going to go ahead and clean that up, kind of fix this situation and then give them more water. And... That is it for the rabbits for this morning. Usually I do like a deeper clean of this area and their litter boxes in the evening. So that's why they kind of look not clean because I don't clean them till the evenings. So yeah. Miss Luna's still mad at me. Hi girly. All right, so now that I have my coffee, I thought that I would sit down and tell you guys my plan for today's vlog. So it is currently 9 a.m. and I am very exhausted. Um, I wish that just like one day I was able to sleep in but because all of the pet meds have to be at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. every day I don't ever get to sleep in um, and the reason they have to be at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. is because some days I have to be, I have to be 
to class by nine. So I have to give them before nine. So if I give them before nine on some days, I have to give them before nine on every day because they have to be consistent. So every day I get to wake up at 8 a.m. Um, maybe once the bunnies meds are done, I can like do honey's meds and go back to sleep because as you guys saw, she literally takes them straight from the syringe. She's really easy. The rabbits, like the whole process of like grabbing them and like holding them and like trying to burrito them and give them the meds, like that kind of wakes me up a little bit and it's hard to go back to sleep after that. But with honey, I feel like I definitely could. So we'll see, but for now I'm up, it's 9 a.m. And um, today is Friday, which is cage cleaning day for me. So all these cages are gonna get cleaned today. So we're gonna be doing cage cleaning. I also have to go through the laundry mat to do all of the laundry for the cage cleaning. And then I do wanna clean like just this room in general and also like just the house in general. I wanna clean the uh, living room a little bit. I feel like it needs a little bit of work. Um, I feel like I need to clean it a little bit. And then I also have homework to do today. And then Oh, we also, I'm trying to do health checks and nail trims for all of the piggies today because they're definitely due for one. Um, so I'm trying to do that today as well. So that's kind of my plan. Just, I've got like a lot of little things to do and then I've got to do the pig cages and the laundry mat and their health checks, which takes longer than like you would think. So that'll definitely be taking up a good chunk of my day. But yeah, that's the plan for uh, today's video. All right, everyone, I am about to head to the laundromat. So I've got my two bins of laundry right here. This one is all of my fleece, my pee pads, my washable puppy pads, everything that I can wash with on hot water. And then this one is everything that I wash on cold water. So all of my bath mats and then any cozy hides are for cold water in here. So I do two separate loads at the laundromat, one with cold water, one with hot water. And then I also have some Dawn dish soap to help wick some of these pee pads in here. They need to be wicked a couple of them. And then I will also be using my white vinegar and my free and clear detergent pods, which are actually in the back of my car for the laundromat. I just keep them there. So yeah, I'm off to put this in the washer. And then usually I wait at the laundromat for the washer to be done. And then I move it all into the dryer, set the dryer for like over an hour and then come home during that time. So. That is the plan with the laundry. Hopefully um, I can get it all done pretty quick. So for some reason, like sometimes the laundromat takes longer than other times. I sometimes just have trouble with the machines or like they're not drying as fast as they should be. But hopefully today goes pretty smoothly because I need to get back and get to cleaning the cages. All right, everyone, I just got back from the laundromat. So all of my pig stuff is right now in the dryer. And I think it has like a little over an hour left. It's got an hour and 20 minutes left in the dryer. And then I go back and I pick it up. So it's currently noon. And I'm thinking that I'm going to go ahead and eat because I'm starving. And then I'm going to finish up or try to finish up my other homework assignment. And then by the time that's done, the laundry should be done. And then I can hopefully get started on cage cleanings. I'm trying to knock them out a little bit earlier today. Sometimes I wait till like six, seven, 8 p.m. to clean the cages. And it's kind of like a pain when it's that late because I'm so tired. So I'm trying to knock it out earlier today. So we'll see how that goes. And then I really want to spend some time outside today because it's literally like 60, 70 degrees right now. And it's the middle of February. So that's like a little weird, but it's going to be 70 degrees today, 70 degrees tomorrow, and then might snow on, on, on Sunday. So 
I don't know what that's about. I don't know what is up with the weather here, but I'd really like to spend some time outside either today or tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be able to today with my schedule because I feel like by the time I get stuff done, it'll start to get dark, but we'll see. It would be nice if not maybe tomorrow, but yeah, that's the plan for right now. Also, this was the Rabbit's Valentine's Day gift. This like cardboard love carriage type thing. And they've already created a third entrance over here from a window. And there's Miss Luna, but they're really enjoying it. It's honestly really large. So this is like a cat house off of Chewy, but it's literally huge. I will link it in the description if it's still available, if anyone is interested in it, but it definitely could fit like larger rabbits. Mine are five pounds and you can see that like they can both fit in here with room for like maybe a third rabbit their size. So it's definitely a good, decent size. Like definitely the largest like hide that I own for them. It's really cute, but <laughs> they've already started to destroy it, which is fine. It's kind of what I expected. They haven't gone up on the second platform, although like they could, it's sturdy enough. So if you have rabbits that like to jump, that could also be nice. But yeah, this was their sort of like early Valentine's Day gift. All right, so I'm about to go pick up all of the laundry from the laundromat out of the dryer. I got to start on my homework. I have like a draft of what I need to do. So I just have to work on it later. I think leaving and coming back will like be helpful to like edit it and stuff. So I'm gonna do that. We'll finish it later. And I worked a little bit on picking up the living room. It's getting better, it's getting there. And then I think I'm going to also be sifting through my tractor supply hay today, just because it is nice weather outside and it's the daylight and I always forget until the nighttime and then I can't like see the hay at all. So I think I'm gonna do that outside before I clean the cages, just because it's actually decent weather to like stand outside and sift through all my dusty hay. So that's what I'm gonna do after I grab the laundry. So that's kind of the plan at the moment. Um, I'm pretty proud of myself. It's only 1.30 and I feel like I've made some progress, which is good. I really like Fridays because I don't have any class and I don't have any work so I can spend the whole day doing house stuff and doing pet stuff. So I always like to just like focus on that for my Fridays if I can. I also rearranged as I was cleaning some of the bunnies hides and I love it because I think it's like a whole new area when I rearrange. So they're all like exploring the new placement of stuff because they think it's like new stuff. So it's really cute. It gets them active, gets them moving around, which is nice. All right, so I'm back from the laundromat. I have all of these clean guinea pig stuff and then all of this is clean as well and everything was nice and dry. So I'm really glad for that. That's why I do like the hour and a half of drying because I wanna make sure that everything's dry. I will just have to check and make sure that the pee pads in here are wicked like I wanted. There's Luna. And then I'm about to go outside and work on the hay. So this is sort of the setup out here right now. I don't want to get a ton of hay around my front door. So I'm going to be taking the hay, shaking it out over this bin to get all the dusty bits out. And then this will be the nice hay. So there is some nice hay in here that I'm going to sort through and put in the nice hay bin. And then this is my Oxbow Orchard hay, which isn't really dusty at all. So I'm just going to be mixing that into the hay bin with my Stanley Timothy grass. So it's going to be quite a process but hopefully um, I can get at least one bin sorted in full and then maybe two after I empty the old stuff out of here, I can make this a new nice bin. That's what I'm hoping for, but we'll see. I'm not 100% sure I'd at least like to have at least a week's worth of hay sorted for the following week. So I actually just remembered that I have these cut gloves, which are from my old job. We would have to wear these when we were like using knives. So last time this hay really scratched me up. So I'm gonna be wearing these. They do like, they're really grimy because they're from my old job, but I'd rather wear them than get cut up by all the hay bits. So I'm gonna wear these instead and see if that makes it easier. If I can't really grab the hay as well, then I'll take them off, but I'm just gonna give it a shot.
All right, so this is the hay that I've got so far. I'm gonna stop here because I'm tired. And I'm just gonna top off this one with some orchard hay. And it's kind of hard to tell from the top, but once you get into it, you can see that it's all this kind of stuff. There's some decent stuff on the top, like that's okay. But it just takes so long to sort through that it's really hard to get the decent stuff out. So most of it, like you can see, I can get some stuff that's okay, but most of it is this crud. This is awful. And there's so much left in here too. And I've just been at this for so long and I can tell it's easier to grab with my bare hands, but I wouldn't have been able to do it for as long because it really scratches out my hands. So I think the gloves really helped with that, even though I couldn't grab the pieces as well like I can now. And then this is the good stuff which is mixed in with the orchard. So I got a decent bit out of the bale so far. So I'm not upset about it, but I am upset about the amount of time that it took for me to like do this. All right, so it is now almost 5 p.m. and it is definitely time to get started cleaning the cages. After the hay, I had something to eat and then I finished my homework assignment. And then I also went on a walk outside so I did get to experience the actually nice weather today. So I'm grateful for that, but it is time to do the cages because I don't wanna put them off any longer because I still have to do the health checks tonight. And if I wait, it's gonna get really late to do all of that. So cleaning the cages is what is up next. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into doing that. So it is now 7 p.m. and I'm finally done with everything cage cleaning wise. I have cleaned everyone's cages and then I cleaned all of the water bottles and all of the food dishes. 
And I think they look pretty nice, not as cohesive as my Valentine's Day ones were before I had to clean, but definitely still something. I really love Honey and Sage's cage. Um, I think all the pink is really, really cute. But like I said, it is 7 p.m. and meds happen at 8. So I've got about an hour before meds to do stuff. I think I'm gonna work on cleaning the living room and maybe the bunny area. And then I still have to do health checks for the piggies and the bunnies too. So I'm thinking as a plan, um, after the medication at eight, I will do the guinea pig and rabbit health checks. And then we will do veggies after that is what I'm thinking the plan is. Do you like the plan, honey? Do you like the plan? So I'm pretty excited with the way they came out. And I think I'll still be able to get everything done today which is good. I feel like I've gotten a lot accomplished today, which it makes me feel good because some days I feel like I don't really get enough stuff done with the pets and I don't really get everything done that I want to. So I'm feeling pretty accomplished with them today. All right, so I have all four of Honey's medications. It's about a little after eight, so it's time for her meds. I've got two pain medications and then one is Meloxicam and then one is her heart med. So these are all for Honey. And then I've also brought round one of the veggies which is peppers for everyone so i'm gonna give honey her meds and then i'm gonna give everyone some peppers Say so we're not very happy about it. No, she's so angry. All right, so we just did all of the bunny grooming. We trimmed their nails, I gave them their meds, and then I tried to do a little bit of brushing. Um, they weren't really the biggest fan of it after the nail trimming, so I think I'll have to do it again in a couple of days to make sure I get all their fur out. But now we're about to trim all of the guinea pigs' nails. So we're, I'm gonna trim all their nails and then I'm also going to weigh them and then do like a brief health check. Um, I did a more in-depth one recently, so I'm only gonna look at them a little bit, but just look over them a little bit. That's what we're about to do.
All right, so I don't know if you guys can hear from the chewing of the bars, but it is veggie time. I just finished all the nails and all the health checks. I did cut a couple nails too far because I don't know why I was just off my game today for some reason, but I just put a quick bit of flour on there and it stopped the bleeding. So everyone's good. I don't know what was up with me. I was just not like fully there today or something because I cut like a couple nails too far, but it's okay. They're all good now. So I'm gonna go ahead and give everyone their veggies. You guys ready for your salad? You guys ready for your salad? Yeah, let me grab it. This is the rabbit salad for today. We've got cilantro mixed greens and kale. Come here guys. There you go. Luna. She literally just left. Luna, <laughs> there's salad over here. Luna, there's salad. Nope. everyone that was today's daily vlog it is currently like 10 p.m but i do still have to give honey her critical care uh but i'm just too tired to keep filming the day i feel like i've literally just been like doing so much today and i'm glad because i got a lot accomplished but i'm also like exhausted so i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like and subscribe to see more of my content thank you all so much for watching and i will see you again next week Bye bye